Hey guys, back with another Season 10 Gameplay Guide, guys. We are going to cover Draven AD Carry today. A pretty interesting champion who can carry insanely hard in solo queue. I definitely recommend Draven if you guys are looking for a champion that can carry really hard in solo queue at the moment. Oh, we're just not reaching out. Oh, feels bad. Actually missing like the two axes. Always works, but doesn't work this time. <coughs> Anyways, um... You can find the full runes, full build, the best setup for Draven. You can find all of that in the description below, guys. So make sure to check that out. And with that being said, let's focus Draven today. A really strong champion at the moment. Alright. This is actually a really good game for Draven. Because we're in a matchup that we can win really easy. Every single time that Senna gets close to us, we can literally walk up to her. Throw like an axe in and go for the all in. As long as my pike actually hits a hook on Senna or Soraka, we should be able to win really hard. I'm actually going to pull a point into my E right here because we're going to need some CSC. Also get my second axe in here. If you can uh, control the axes of Draven very well, then he's not really that hard to play, honestly. Oh, he's going to get hit by the hook. Or I mean the stun from Senna. Alright. So basically how we want to play this matchup out is basically... Uh, we're going to try to throw axes at Senna every single time she will go for the CS. Also, this is like an opportunity right here. Great. But also, as soon as Pike actually hits a hook on Soraka or Senna, that's the moment when we want to be looking for like an all-in. You want to play really aggressive throughout the early game with Draven. That's kind of the play style you want to have on Draven. There we go. I'm going to put the lane into like slow pushing mode, so the moment we get like a, a hook, we should be able to go for the all in. I don't want to look into like all trades yet. Soraka can hit me pretty easily with uh, with her poke if I'm trying to get close. So it kind of depends on Pike right now. She missed the Q. My Pike can actually look for like a hook right now. I can reset the lane by like pushing it in right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. They couldn't hit that one. Dodging the Soraka Q. I do have to place a ward down, which I'll do right now. Okay. So we got everything water properly right now. Also, their jungler is not being here right now. He's probably coming bottom in like a minute. We should be looking for like trace right now. My Pike is playing like insanely defensive. He's not getting the, the hooks in, but it will be alright. I don't want to miss that one. Come back another axe anyway. Alright. I, I honestly am not quite sure what my uh, Pike is doing at the moment, but I'm sure we will be alright. We'll just have to wait. That's like a cure from the Soraka. I need that pike to create some pressure for me. Oh, actually hitting the creep right there. Oh, there's a jungler right here. Mm. That's not really good. Okay, none of us has actually died there. Now, the thing about uh, Draven that you guys gotta know, if you are playing Draven, the one thing that you gotta know is when you play really aggressive, you are extremely vulnerable to ganks. As soon as you uh, go for the all-in or, or you're looking for like a fight on Draven uh, and your enemy jungler comes in, you cannot escape. Draven doesn't have any kind of escaping abilities, so if you're in a vulnerable position, you are about to get destroyed. As long as you play a little bit safe enough that you don't actually uh, die, you should be alright. This is a great moment for us because they've pulled themselves into a very vulnerable position. So we get a kill right here, pretty sweet. Also resetting the passive right now. Whoops. Okay, now we can actually push it in. So, you have to play aggressive as Draven. But don't go so aggressive that if you're going for the all-in, that you might probably get yourself killed. That's what you want to avoid if you're playing Draven. That's one of the main problems, that's one of the main issues why most of the Draven players are feeding. People play Draven, but if you're 
actually focusing too much on your axis and you're not actually watching the map that's where the problem lies people are playing generally too aggressive when they play draven you have to avoid that so uh we got the bloodthirster we actually getting the bf sword the first item we're going to get is going to be the 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 bloodthirster and as soon as we get the bloodthirster we want to follow up with like an infinity edge getting more damage and like eventually you know upgrading into the berserker greaves and eventually get like a rapid fire cannon also get like a guardian's angel stuff like that that's kind of the build that you want to go for if you're playing draven all right this guy's gonna roam so i cannot walk up right now i'm not able to farm up because the moment i try to take a cs they could potentially stun me and i'm probably going to be instantly dead so i'm going to have to wait for my Support to come back. Alright, he's coming back right now. But yeah, guys. Great advice here. If you're trying to learn uh, Draven. Make sure that if you're going to play Draven. Don't put yourself into a very vulnerable position. And make sure you always take a look at the map. Even when you're throwing your axes. Because people often forget to do that. If they're like under pressure with the axes. I know that... Like, throwing your axes and actually catching them can be really difficult for some people. And people put their focus on that. Oh, what's he doing? Serious? Okay. But don't let the axes make you forget about the map. Because I could literally saw that game coming from like a mile away. So now I'm going to have to wait for my pike to make a move. He could literally walk into them right now as we speak. And we could win an entire fight. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do my W. I'm gonna focus Soraka first. I'm gonna go for this guy too. Uh, really? Really? He throws himself in? Hmm. Unfortunately, I've actually missed my ultimate on Senna. That was not really good. But at least we got a kill right there. Which is not that bad. Alright, we're going to stay in lane. Because we have lifesteal. Something that Senna doesn't have. We could literally lifesteal ourselves all the way back up. Using the creeps. Alright, look at that. Dive there. And back off again. I actually thought I had flash for a second, but I don't. <laughs> Alright, we just got to kill again. This is the kind of playstyle you want to have if you're playing Draven bot lane, guys. If you're playing Draven AD carry. Never put yourself into a vulnerable position where the jungler can actually kill you. Always make sure you take a look at the map if you're throwing in your axes. Don't get distracted too much. Don't distract yourself throwing the axes. Don't forget about the map. That's the biggest mistake people make. When they play Draven AD carry guys. We already have the Bloodthirster. We're only about 10 minutes in the game right now. Which means that we are snowballing insanely hard right now. We want to keep the snowball up. The best way to do that. Pike's roaming right now. As soon as he gets back to the bot lane. Um, we have to force like a fight. Before Echo comes in. Pike's roaming mid, like mid lane right now. Probably getting some kills. It will be great. We have to make sure we don't put ourselves into a bad position. Soraka's mid lane, jungler is mid lane too, so that means that nobody is bot lane right now, which means I can all in this guy right away. If he tries to walk up to me, I will go for all in. Here we go. Uh. Okay. So, I do have to... I, I, okay, I I have to be really serious here, guys. I don't know how Senna works. This is the only champion that I don't know how she works. <laughs> I've never cared about the way how she works. I just know her abilities, but I don't know if she's untouchable in that invisibility. I'll check after this game. It's the only champion in the entire game which I don't know what she does in the invisibility. I'm just too lazy to check out. Alright, because I think I should have killed her, right? Like, the moment she came out of that invisibility, I should have been able to kill her right there. Whatever. 
Okay. She's back to full health right now. But that doesn't matter. I can all in Senna at any time. I want Pike to go all in right now. Here we go. Mm, not able to. I'll just left still back up with my Bloodthirster again, and we should be able to go for like a fight again soon. I still have my, um, I still have my heal, which is going to be very useful too. Here we go. Dodge the Soraka Q. Great. Got my ultimate back. And now we can actually start something. Back to full health. Uh, this stun is the only thing which I, which I find so annoying. Alright. The, the pikes... The pike Qs are not really that great, I have to admit here. They are not that great. We're playing against our free lane right here, but my pike is missing every single Q possible. Hit something, come on. This pike doesn't hit anything in his lane. Alright. We will have to wait for pike to... Uh finally hit a Q here only until then I'll quickly make my way back because their jungler is here right now I'll just reset what is he trying to do oh man that pike all right no, no worries that no problem there's nothing wrong happening here my supports just have to reset We might actually get 2v3 right here. And my Lee Sin is completely missing on the entire map. He's top side. We're about to be. This guy's going to dive us. Alright. Well, I, I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> All right. I need to reset my my axe. We didn't get anybody here. Not even not even the jungler. Okay. We didn't get anybody. That's interesting. All right, we did get somebody. I don't know what he was trying to pull off there. He's got to be tilted. Anyway, this is the kind of place I want to have on Draven. Play as aggressive as you can early game. If you have the right support, you could snowball super hard. And we're going to push this out all the way. You know, we could even... Or... No, we're not going to. Just go back there. We cannot take that tower. It's too much health right there. So, we're going back to base. By the BF sword. Sell this ward because we haven't used that yet and just replace it with my boots right here already. Also, uh, swapping down your trinket with this one is great. Lee Sin is uh, not doing that great in this game and I'll explain why. We have um, a massive pressure on bot lane. We're definitely stronger than, you know, Senna is. The problem this game, however, is that Lee Sin has never played around bot lane. We could have ended the lane a lot sooner if my jungler actually decided to be around bottom. We could have ended like a lot sooner. Still fine though, no problem. Okay, we're going to start up a fight right here. Here we go. I can't really walk up too much. I know that their jungler is here right now. Soraka also has no idea where she's walking off to. They're like fighting a dragon. That's why they're trying to stay like this. We 
You can get him too. Yep, got him. This is exactly the way how you want to play Draven, guys. This is exactly the way how you want to do it. And now we're going to go back again. Yep, got that guy too. Now I can even go mid lane and we can force that entire tower right there. Which we definitely want to. Yeah, that Camille is going to be no problem for us at all. And push this out too. Great. I don't mind getting the farm for myself there. And honestly, I'll, I'll give you guys it, man. You don't have... You don't need a thousand games to play Draven correctly. You don't need a billion of games to master Draven's Q. To throw the axes. It's not really that hard to do. It's really not that hard to do. Don't get me wrong. He's definitely a skill, like a champion that which you need skill for. But in my honesty, you don't need that long to master it. If you think Draven is a cool champion and you think you can win like solo queue with it, you should pick up your... You should take it because this, this champion is really good for solo queue. You can definitely get really far with Draven. You don't need that long to master the, the, the axis. You can practice it in like a practice game uh, tool too. So it doesn't matter as much. It took me roughly about... Five games? Five games to understand the way how Draven's axes work and like being able to play like decent. Uh, I could have actually killed the Soraka too, but I prefer getting the uh, getting the fake right there. Yep, and now get the next wave too. Next wave is already running. We've got like 3.3k gold right now. We're super fed already. Yep, get this wave too. Sweet. Nice. And we can now get the tower done for two. We already have blood there, so we're about to get infinity edge right now. We are insanely far ahead in the game right now. Almost 4k gold. We will get this camp before we go back. Nice. Okay, now we can go back. See ya. So, yeah, and all, like, honestly, the only hard thing about Draven is it's not the axis, but watching the map while picking up the axis. That's something that a lot of people have trouble with. Uh, actually, they have already bought like a bunch of armor. I'm just going to buy the last whisper already. But I'm not going to complete it yet because I'm going to get this one. Which will give us more attack speed. Also, crit's pretty good when Draven. We're going to group mid lane right now and see if we can find an opportunity to end the game. The sooner we end this game, the better because they have an amazing late game. There we go. I'm gonna throw out my ultimate very soon. Uh, he's definitely very scared. Yeah, okay. He's trying to stay out of the fight, which is a pretty good idea because I'm about to, uh, to destroy him anyway. Yep, we're gonna force the tower right now. They will be fighting. Honestly, like they keep on fighting, which is really bad. I can just I can just continue pushing. I don't know what these guys are doing, honestly. We can just push mid lane. Yep. And we got that. 
I don't know what these guys are doing. We shouldn't be fighting them right now. Not in, not in like that way. That was really bad. If you're, if you get into a very awkward position, you don't want to fight. I'm not gonna fight Camille. I'm not gonna throw away the lead I have right now because of my team making mistakes. I'm not going to do that. That's really bad. Uh, my team is losing the entire pressure. I don't know what's going on. What? Okay, they're they're actually throwing the entire team fight right there. <laughs> they're going in by one by one. What? All right, I'm definitely not going to join that. I'm definitely not going to do that with my team. Yeah, I'm not going to go two v five. That's uh, you got some nice dreams right there. I don't know what these guys are thinking, but you're crazy. Where did he go? Oh, he ran off that way. Okay, now we can take this tower too. This is pretty much going to be the game very soon. Yep, got him too. Getting the double kill. Yep, and now we can take some more towers, I mean some more camps before we leave. This is the, this is all there is to it guys. This is pretty much how you play Draven, 80 carry. There's no blue buff there anymore. Doesn't matter. Nice. Now we can go back. We can yeah, buy the next last whisper tree, which is going to give us even more damage. Uh, they have champions that heal quite a bit, so I might as well just buy the mortal reminder right there. I will also upgrade my uh, uh, item into the rapid fire cannon there we go and now we're like almost full build we just need a guardian's angel right now and that's pretty much it let's end i'm op let's go let's let's end group group, right. group s5 mid all we have to do right now is just group s5 mid lane and like we will end the game. I'm too strong right now. 10 kills is a lot. We could even start the uh, the Baron right now. No. Oh, I could have killed them right there. Whoops. What are they pinging for? Did they expecting me to walk through a jungle? What are they doing? Group mid lane? Push. In they're going into the jungle. What are they expecting? I'm, I'm going to get killed by Fagor if I go into the jungle right now. It's a really bad idea. Really bad. Okay, let's take all the farmer here. We're going to continue taking all the camps we can from, uh, from Echo. So we can keep on getting ahead. I'll let my team do whatever as long as they need. I'll just keep on farming up so I'm not going to lose my lead. Okay, let's take the tower now. Let's go. Very nice. Got all the farm there. And now they're grouping mid lane when I'm top. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're no problem for me. Okay. That Tyke uh, doesn't stand in front of me. And like he gets my uh, he gets me killed. My team doesn't play properly. Despite me having 10 kills, my team doesn't play properly. You can clearly see that. They they don't group with me. They don't force towers when they should. They're not going barren. They're just getting caught. They're fighting in the jungle for some reason. Like, they are not doing good stuff right now. We just have to go Baron right now. I'm going to force my team to start off the Baron. And then we are just going to solo 1v9 to the end. Because my team doesn't... They're doing a lot of questionable things. They're getting themselves like out of the game right now. My Pike is always standing AFK. He's not even playing the game. He's level 9. He's out of the game. It's, it's a 4 against 5. Okay, let's just start that Baron. Get it right over with. That's one. There we go. And now it's like we, we gotta we gotta force a lot of things, man. Here we go. Get the tower done for. Get the nip as well. We could technically even continue to push. We could 1v9 it all, but it's gonna hold on for a little bit longer. Nice, there we go. Get level 17. Sin Zhao is bottom, that's good because his teleport is up as well. And now we take the Baron. Nice, we got him. By the time they arrive, we should have it. Push top lane. Sin Zhao is bottom all alone. This should be our opportunity to push down topside. And now we can take the tower too. Yep, this is going to be a win. <laughs> I got completely destroyed by a Fagar, and the rest of my team are going to just de get de destroyed now too. Okay. Unfortunately, Fagar has too many kills because my team has been feeding him too much. The only prop, the only way how I can survive there, is if I buy a QSS right now. A QSS will probably fix that issue once and for all. I could swap out my Guardian's Angel uh, for the QSS immediately, but first, before doing that, I will uh, use my Guardian's Angel first. I will use that first, and right after it's done, I'm going to sell it, get my QSS, and we should be able to win. I want to use the uh, Guardian's Angel first. Here we go. We got the top in it, bin and hip is down as well. All we have to do right now is get the bottom tower and that should be, that should pretty much be it. There we go. I'm also, I'm on like level 17 right now. I'm super, super fed right now. There we go. Push down the mid lane. 
I'm just gonna face check the bush. I don't think they're going to be here right now. I don't think they will. Come here, top set. This is gonna be a free tower. Very nice. I just use heal for movement speed. Okay, now we can finish. Yep, got the tower as well. Yeah, this is the game pretty much. Guys, this is how you play Draven AD carry and how you... Uh, th this is pretty much how you carry really hard on Draven, guys. He is pretty OP. Dra like, Draven is honestly really OP if you know how to play him. He doesn't have... He's, he's a pretty good champion that needs like a lot of skill. But I think you can get the hang of Draven within like 5 games if you know uh, like how to throw axes if you get the idea behind it. I think he can be uh, really good for solo queue. You should definitely pick him up if you're looking for like an AD carry who can potentially carry the entire laning phase as well as late game. He's not that great as a late game champion, but his early game and mid game are the best. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys have learned something today. Thanks so much for watching. Ruins build, description, you guys know it. And uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I'll see you guys within the next gameplay guide. Peace.